Bleach era has the most potential in Roblox history. Watch to the end of the video to find out why. Hey guys, it is me, Roblox Wells. Before the video start, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, go post some notifications on, comment down below your favorite part in the video once we have made it to the end. It really does let us know that you're supporting the channel and it really does encourage us to make more of these videos since these videos do tend to take a lot of time to make. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I'm pretty sure if you're an anime fan, you know what Bleach is. But to go over Bleach, basically there's this main character, the main protagonist named Ichigo, and he's basically protecting his city slash world from these things called hollows, which come and try to de like destroy his world. I mean, now there's not many to it or many I could say about the anime since I have not finished the anime myself and I have watched the anime like a few years ago. But apparently that's a really big thing because, you know, hollows are these like monster creatures that have like a hole inside of their chest including ichigo ichigo has like he's half hollow half human i believe or half um spirit or i don't really know because i don't really watch bleach like that as i said you have to remind me because i haven't watched bleach in like so long so basically they're fighting against hollows there's this dude named aizen that will be introduced later on in the series there's a whole bunch of characters that you will know and love later in the series but to speak on the main thing or the main facts of it is mostly it was kind of like bleach era kind of came into par and at the same time more fans started getting into bleach so could it be that they already predicted that to happen or was it just a coincidence because already Bleach era has a lot of players like waiting for the re role opening. You could play ro you could pay Robux and get like early access like I did, or you could wait. I mean, there's not much right now because it's still in beta or alpha or whatever, and there's not much to go on of the game. But you could tell the game has so much potential already by just the fact that you know the game one, the game is really really good. Two. You can fight hollows, become like a soul reaper or any of that. Three, you have a choice to become what you want to be in the beginning and just seeing how more players will like play the game later on in like later on in the future, you can already tell that this game is going to be great. Now, I really recommend grinding this game with your friends. They do have like bugs and glitches and stuff and one of the main bugs is that high level soul reapers can attack low level soul reapers, which I don't even know why that's a thing. I mean, they should make like an alloy system or something or probably put like something where you can, you know, have like a team or a team assigned, probably five players or more. They should have like these little events where they where we fight like giant hollows. And I'm, these are just my ideas in general. I'm talking about like, you know how Shindo Life has like the little raid part to get the Tintels? If they added like a big soul reaper, I mean like a big reaper, soul reaper, and then we could all like go and fight that soul reaper or fight aizen for like that and we can and aizen drops like different things and he has like this one rare like one percent drop sword or something that we all can get that will be like pretty much better because if we can't upgrade our swords or change our swords like everyone in the series like let's say we wanted uh ryuka's katana instead of having like um aizen's katana or if we want aizen's katana instead of having ryuka Probably Aizen should drop that because, you know, it will be his boss. But these are just small ideas. And you could tell the game has potential with already the model makes, the hollows that they made, everything. Like, the hollow we should fight. Oh my god, that would be so amazing. That would be so fun to do. And just add, like, more simple stuff to the game. And make, like, instructions with the game. Make the game a little bit more simple for new players that don't know how to play. Or make it more simple, like a storyline or something. But I'm pretty sure they're working on that and it will be done in no time. But let me know what you guys think in the comment sections down below. And that will bring us to the end of the video. If you think we miss any aspect or point in this listing in your opinion, feel free to provide us with input in the comment sections down below. Also, a reminder, if you haven't already, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel with post notifications on. And comment down below your favorite part in the video. It really does help out the channel a lot. If you did that, then you're fine. But if you haven't, please do that. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.